Board of Directors, we'd like to present Captain Ryan with the flag that was flown on the deck of the USS Silversides. I'd also like to take a moment to acknowledge the West Michigan New Horizons Music Ensembles. This is their 20th anniversary, and we are so <coughs> grateful that you come and you play with us every year. And as a special thank you to Director Summers, we'd like to present her with a complimentary membership to the USS Silverside Submarine Museum. Of course, she's been welcome to come here anytime she wants, and we recruit her to come here and help us plan this all year long. But her membership will also allow her to visit other museums in her travels through our reciprocal programs in Michigan and throughout the country. Thank you, Director Summers, and thank you to everybody in the world. And my last thank you is to all the veterans that are in attendance here. If I could ask all of the veterans to stand or raise your hands so we can thank you for your service, please.
thanks for tuning in. We lost the signal there for a while, and now we're back. Before we begin our tolling of the boat ceremony, I'd like to invite the World War II veterans to join us on top side here, please, if you're able. We have assembled here today to pay honor and tribute to the 3,617 shipmates who are still on patrol and to the 52 submarines that are on their eternal resting place. It should not be forgotten that one out of every four men who served on submarines during World War II and one out of every three submarines operating during those long years never returned from patrol. Our shipmates, part of a force which numbered fewer than 2% of the United States Navy's personnel, were able to account for over 55% of all enemy shipping, both merchant and naval, sunk during World War II. Over five and one quarter million tons of enemy naval ships were destroyed by that small force. To these gallant shipmates who gave their lives in the supreme sacrifice without ever looking back, in performing their duties with integrity and courage, we honor them, we pay tribute to them, we salute them. May their souls rest in peace. We will now toll the boats lost in World War II. Sea Lion, sunk by aerial bomb December 10, 1941. Four men lost, one man died in POW camp. S-16 ran aground January 20, 1942, no loss of life. S-26 rammed by escort January 24, 1942, 46 men lost, three survivors. Shark sunk by surface craft February 11, 1942. 59 men lost. Perch, sunk by surface craft, March 3rd, 1942. All taken prisoner, six died in POW camp. S-27, ran aground, June 19, 1942. No loss of life. Grunion, sunk by surface craft, July 30, 1942. 70 men lost. S-39 ran aground August 13, 1942. No loss of life. Argonaut sunk by surface craft July 10, 1943. Excuse me, January 10, 1943. 102 men lost. Amberjack sunk by surface craft February 16, 1943, 74 men lost. Grampus, sunk by surface craft, March 5, 1943, 71 men lost. Triton, sunk by surface craft, March 15, 1943, 74 men lost. Pickerel, sunk by surface craft, April 3, 1943, 74 men lost. Grenadier, sunk by aerial bombs, April 22nd, 1943. All taken prisoner, four died in POW camp. R-12, 
Sunk, cause unknown, July 12, 1943. 42 men lost, 33 survivors. Runner, sunk by enemy mines, lost between 20, May 28th and July 4th, 1943. 78 men lost. Grayling, sunk, cause unknown, September 9th, 1943. 76 men lost. Pompano, sunk by enemy, enemy line, mines, lost between August 8th and September 27th, 1943. 78 men lost. Cisco, sunk by surface craft, September 28th, 1943. 76 men lost. S44, sunk by surface craft, October 7th, 1943. 55 men lost, two survivors taken prisoner. Wahoo, sunk by aerial bombs, October the 11th, 1943. 80 men lost. Dorado, sunk by friendly aircraft, October 12th, 1943. 77 men lost. Corvino, sunk by enemy submarine, November 16th, 1943. 82 men lost. Sculpin, sunk by surface craft, November 19, 1943. 60 men, 63 men lost, 21 survivors taken prisoner. Capelin, sunk by surface craft, December 2nd, 1943. 78 men lost. Scorpion, sunk by enemy mines, January 5th, 1944. 77 men lost. Grayback, sunk by surface craft, February 26, 1944. 80 men lost. Trout, sunk by enemy mines, February 29, 1944. 81 men lost. Tullaby, sunk by own torpedo, March 26, 1944, 79 men lost. Gudgeon, sunk by surface craft, April 18, 1944, 79 men lost. Herring, sunk by surface craft, June 1, 1944, 83 men lost. Golette, sunk by surface craft, June 14th, 1944, 82 men lost. S-28, sank, cause unknown, July 4th, 1944, 49 men lost. Robalo, sunk by enemy mines, July 26th, 1944, 77 men lost, four taken prisoner, all died in POW camp. Flyer, sunk by enemy mines, June 13th, 1944. 78 men lost, eight survivors. Harder, sunk by surface craft, August 24th, 1944. 79 men lost. Sea Wolf, sunk by friendly fire. October 3rd, 1944, 83 men lost, plus 17 Army personnel. Escalar, sunk by enemy mines, October 17th, 1944, 82 men lost. Darter, ran aground, no loss of life, on October 24th, 1944. Shark 2. Sunk by surface craft, October 24th, 1944, 87 men lost. Tang, sunk by their own torpedo, October 25th, 1944, 78 men lost, nine survivors taken prisoner. Albacore, sunk by enemy mines, November 7th, 1944, 85 men lost. Growler sank, cause unknown, 
November 8, 1944, 86 men lost. Scamp, sunk by surface craft, November 16, 1944, 83 men lost. Swordfish, sank, cause unknown, January 12, 1945, 85 men lost. Barbell, sunk by aerial bombs, February 4, 1945, 81 men lost. Keat, sank, cause unknown, March 20th, 1945, 87 men lost. Trigger, sunk by surface craft, March 26th, 1945, 89 men lost. Snook, sank, cause unknown, April 8th, 1945, 84 men lost. Lugardo, sunk by surface craft, May 3rd, 1945, 85 men lost. Bonefish, sunk by surface craft, June 18th, 1945, 86 men lost. And Bullhead, sunk by aerial bombs, August 6th, 1945, 84 men lost. We've lost some additional submarines since World War II. Cochino was lost. One man died, um, and also six from the Tusk. On August 26, 1949, we lost the Stickleback on May 28, 1958, with no loss of life. And during my career, we lost two nuclear-powered submarines. We lost the USS Thrusher on April 10, 1963. 129 men were lost. And on May 22, 1968, we lost the Scorpion with 99 men lost. And as was the case with a lot of our World War II submarines, we don't know exactly how Scorpion was lost. We don't know exactly when they were lost because submarines don't communicate and a lot of cases we don't know they're lost until they fail to arrive at the port they're scheduled to show up at and uh, so we know if they don't show up that we better start looking for them and if we don't find them we know they've been lost. So uh, that's what happened to Scorpion and if you want to review any of the uh, World War II boats that we read off and what happened to them and when. It's all displayed on that memorial wall across the parking lot over there, so you can uh, have a look at that on your way out. Thank you. Salute will now be presented by American Legion Post 9, followed by Pops.
Washington Post 9, retire the colors. Guard. Forward. Hurt. Prepare to get underway. Station the maneuvering watch. Single up all lines. Light off number three and four main engines. Coming from Frank Marzak. As soon as the smoke clears, we've got engines three and four lit, and they are running successfully. You can hear the crowd, they love it. Unfortunately, the wind is coming our way, but there we go, it's starting to clear up. Uh, the smell of freedom. While you're enjoying the uh, odors of the Silverside submarine, uh, Prepare to smell the delicious GNL hot dogs that are going to be served here shortly. And I turn it back to West Michigan. Thank you for tuning in. Sorry about the glitches in the middle there. Again, this is the Lost Boat Ceremony 2019 at the USS Silverside Submarine Museum. If you're in Muskegon, please stop by. We're open seven days a week.
can always count on us at least 10 to 4. We have tour guides from the military and, and other branches of life coming out here to give tours of the submarine. You can always self-guide your way through the submarine, as well as the Coast Guard Cutter McLean. She sank a Japanese submarine in World War II. And the museum, the beautiful two-floor museum here in Muskegon. Thank you for tuning in, folks, and thank you for your comments, and God bless. Special shout out to Peggy Maniatis, our director, who's enjoying her daughter's graduation ceremony. So she couldn't be here with us, but thank you. I hope you had a good time tuning in. All right, folks, thanks for tuning in. We're going to sign out now and uh, have a good summer. Enjoy. Remember, the 4th of July is coming up and enjoy that too. So, good night from, or good afternoon from the Silverside Submarine Museum Museum, Muskegon, Michigan. <laughs>